What's up, Ethan? What's up, BJ? How you doing? Welcome. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for showing up. <clears throat> yeah, for some reason, it, like, <laughs> has signed me in under my other name. Very odd. So I thought I was streaming under my other YouTube account, and I was like, Ugh, I don't want to do that. John's Arcade, what's up, man? All is well. Thank you for stopping by. I apologize about the last stream. What's up, Casey? All right, we got our gentleman here. Um, I'm not sure the best way to split this up, to be honest with you, since we're doing three and three. Um, we can do it by division. You can get uh, two divisions apiece. That's a decent way to do it. Um, how many packs are inside each box? So today I'm just breaking some stuff for a few buddies that uh, they wanted to get some stuff broke. And I was like, hey, I want to rip some packs too. So we got eight packs in this box. But going three-way and 15 packs in this one. That makes it a lot easier. This one for sure. Plus an exclusive bonus pack with Heritage Topps Chrome cards. Ooh. The Topps Chrome cards are sweet out of this, by the way. Sometimes you can get some legit stuff. <laughs> Pack rat. Of course you would. I knew it. I knew it all along. Yeah, so we're just cracking into these. Uh, I'm not sure the best way to split them up. Like I said, split it up by pack. You could do it that way. But uh, we're going to be, what, 15 and 8? That's 23 packs. 23 divided by 3 doesn't really work. What's up, Papa Rants? Uh, so I think we should do it by division. We should do a division break. Each person gets two divisions. And what about the uh, Chrome Pack? Hmm, Casey, what about the Chrome Pack? I think there's only three cards in it, so we could split the three cards. Papa Rance. Yeah, it is good to see you. All right, so we'll just do every other um, starting what rotation? Who's going to go first? We'll just roll the dice for the chrome pack, or we can split it. Each person gets a chrome card. I think there's three in there, so each person will get a chrome card. We'll do that. We'll do it in the same order that we're doing the uh, the rest of the, the uh, packs in. So <clears throat> every other is what we'll do. BJ went last last time, so I think we'll, we'll do BJ first, Casey second, Elkanon last. Does that work? <laughs> Rants. Brutal, buddy. Brutal. They have one chrome pack in the Heritage Mega Boxes, or Monster Boxes, is what they call them. 15 packs plus an exclusive bonus pack with three Heritage Tops Chrome cards. Very nice. Yeah, it'd be nice. Welcome, Hats. It's been a while. Good to see you. King Arthur Baseball. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Greg B. in the house. It's good to see you, Greg B. All right, we'll start out with BJ, then Casey, then El Canon. So I'm going to have to keep three separate stacks here. You guys make it difficult doing that. I just want you to know. I know that you like the packs being able to open so you get a chance. Everybody gets a chance at something sweet. But it is difficult. <clears throat> These have a lot of packs inside of them, which I like. Heritage has the possibility of being a hot box, which means you would get a purple parallel in every pack. That would be awesome. I have not seen one out of the Heritage monster boxes yet, but I have seen uh, three blasters that have been uh, legit good. All right, we're going to have to do our stacks here. K BJ, Casey, Elkanon. BJ, Casey, Elkanon. If I get something wrong, you're going to have to let me know. Good luck, everybody. Greg B., thank you for stopping by. Appreciate everybody that's in the stream tonight. We'll find out if we have a hot box in the first pack. We don't. So, Sam Hilliard, Don Nunez, Hector Harris, Will Smith, Gary Sanchez, John Duplantier, Jose Quintana, Chris Davis, Matt Boyd, 
and Colton Wong. That's going to be the first pack for BJ. And we're going to go through and check on the backs real quick, because if any of them are short prints, they're going to tell right there. And we do have one short print, John Duplantier. I don't know why I like saying it like that, but it is John Duplantier. Nice, BJ. Anything over 400 is a short print. Then you can also get like action short prints, missing signature short prints. Um, photo variation? Might be able to get photo variation too. Derek Dietrich. Are you really going to make me listen to commercials? Because I'm not going to do it. I refuse to do that. Derek Dietrich. Uh, Brennan McKay and Mike Brousseau. I wish they would kind of do, just do one rookie on each. That's a cool one. Then and now, Willie Stargell and Pete Alonzo. Pablo Sandoval, Carson Kelly, Jose Ozuna, and Yankees Luke Voigt. Let's see if Casey got any short prints. BJ Casey Elkanon, BJ Casey Elkanon. Oh no, he got that, that insert. Those inserts are uh, a little harder to come by than the other ones. Pack number three. Russell Iglesias, Zach Plesek, Alex Colomb, Junior Fernandez, Junior Fernandez, and Randy Arez Rosarena. It's tough to say that name. And the Polo Grounds of Willie Mays. Nice Willie Mays insert there. I am trying to fill my Willie Mays insert set. Buster Posey is the last one. Check if we got any good short prints here. Does not look like it. Uh, I do have a break on the website. Casey, do you want me to stop streaming and text you about the, uh, like, in response to your question? Because <laughs> I'm not going to do it. You know, you can't get Lewis Robert out of this set. I don't believe Lewis Robert is in Heritage, so don't worry. But the Optic, you could definitely get a Lewis out of Optic, I believe. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I have a hobby box of Topps Chrome. <clears throat> He'll get all the good cards. Well, that's the hope, isn't it? I hope I get all the good cards. <laughs> Tommy Edmond, Emilio Pagan, Jose Ramirez, Rafael Devers, Seth Brown, AJ Puck, Jesus Lazardo. That's a cool card because the A's are off to a phenomenal start. Jack Flaherty, Austin Romine, Mike Clevenger. And let's check through and see if any of these are going to be variants. Short prints. Doesn't look like it. So, uh, I do have a break on the site. It is a Topps Chrome 1 Hobby Box break. I've already sold a few spots out of there, so you might want to jump in and get your spots before they are gone. I will break that when it fills. If it fills tonight, we'll break it tonight. I'll tell you that. That's a little odd that it won't give me... Ah, I know why. Wait, that is odd. It has me posting... All right, you know what? I have to switch. Hmm. I don't know the best way to do that. Somebody else, Casey, can you get on there? Uh, since you're a, get on my website and post the uh, break. Since you're a mod, somebody, one of the mods, get in there and post it because it's not coming up as a link because I don't know why it logged me in as my other name. My real name. That goes to Casey. No SPs. Uh, where are we at here? I'm trying to go every other. Puck Lazardo. Pretty solid on one card. I know it's a nice card. Joey Lucchesi. Scott Oberg. Nick Markakis. Andrew Kashner. Josh Bell. Game 2 of the World Series. Chris Archer. Robinson Cano. And Hanato Nunez. There is a short print in here, Josh Bell, but it's not like an action short print or variation, it's just a high number. 
Thank you, Casey. Appreciate that. So there is the break. We do have spots left, so don't worry. You don't have to rush too fast, but you definitely don't want to miss out. Tyler Naquin, Wilmer Flores, Cal Quantrill, Matt Adams, Marlins, Jordan, or Jordan Yamamoto, and Isan Diaz. That's a nice one. Albert Almora and Nelson Cruz. Little Nelly Cruz action. Nothing over 400. Casey wins. <laughs> Race to the finish. Oop, every other. Any idea how many spots are open still? <clears throat> I'll have to check. I don't know, probably like 20. 23, something in there. Griffin Canning, this one's going to Casey. Griffin Canning, Austin Hayes, and you're going to get a Cody Bellinger scratch-off. Those are neat. Scratch-off game's pretty sweet. And then uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., New Age Performers. That's a nice one, too. Uh, Brendan Crawford, Brian Buxton, Orlando Arcia. I'd be willing to break it if we got it down to... Uh, 10 spots. Kid pooped everywhere. That's the joy of having kids. I have a dog, so... Short prints generally have a little more value, yeah, because they're short printed. In other words, they're not printed in the same quantities. There's a Ramon Laureano. They're not printed in the same quantities as the rest of the base cards. So it's like having a numbered card, but uh, with no numbering on it. There you go, Ramon Laureano. That goes to me. Ramon Laureano is a short print. In Heritage, anything numbered over 400 is a short print. Sometimes they will have some words on the top of the picture that will say, like, action or missing signature, and that's a short print variant. Jake Junis, Luke Jackson, Freddie Galvis... Flashbacks. D.B. Cooper disappears after hijacking. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, Brian Reynolds. Steven Matz. Jake Arrieta. Wellington Castillo. What happened to Jake Arrieta? Kind of fell off the map there. Guy was such a great pitcher. He was doing roids, I think. He was juiced. That was the problem. Alberto Mondesi. James McCann. Paxton delivers pitching gem. Chad Pender, Mike Soroka, New Age Performers, nice insert there. Pitching leaders, Strasburg, Max Freed, Dakota Hudson, and Clayton Kershaw. Josh James, Mike Talkman, Jordan Hicks. Yeah, the variants are a lot uh, are nice, and they have quite a bit of value. I pulled a Cody, Cody Bellinger, uh, oops, that one's Casey's, sorry. A Cody Bellinger um, missing signature. It's like a, I don't know, $75, $80 card. It's pretty sweet. Tyler Glasnow, Padres, Andre Munoz, and Michael Baez. Richie Martin, home run leaders. Pete Alonzo, scratch off. That's a neat one. It's not his rookie because it's 2020, but it's still cool. Andrew Haney, Tucker Barnhart. There's a Jordan Alvarez and Aristides Aquino. Nice. Having both of those guys on one card is cool, but Aristides is on the way down. So is Jordan right now. Unfortunately, <laughs> adult incontinence. Wow, Greg B. He wants to break this thing. All right, we'll probably break it tonight, then, Greg. My goodness, he is going all in on this. Sweet. At ten spots, you're not going to have to pay shipping either. So, going to get free shipping on that and get quite a deal without that because I think you didn't have to pay shipping before either. BJ's, Casey's. Kristen Stewart, Dexter Fowler, Chris Bryant, Pitching Leaders, Jason Hayward, Josh Naylor, World Series Champs, Kendrick Plays Hero, and Will Myers. And Jason Hayward is a short print for you there. Nice, Casey. Nice little short print. Yeah, I still break Pokemon. I do Pokemon on Mondays. It's the only day of the week that I do Pokemon. Um... 
my Pokemon videos have the lowest amount of views of any of my videos. People are just not that interested. Uh, which is a shame, guys, because that's where the investment value is. I'm just being honest. I did find the Charizard I was looking for. Thank you for asking. It was pretty legitsky. 428, so Noah Syndergaard is going to be a short print. Not bad, but not great. All right. So here we go. We're going to have three Chrome cards in here. This first one goes to BJ Starlin Castro. BJ gets a Starlin Castro. That's going to be number two, 999, 798 of 999. The middle card is going to Casey. Sorry, yeah, BJ got that first one. Casey's getting the Kyle Schwarber. That's going to be a much lower numbering. Kyle Schwarber is out of 571. The silver chrome. And then Williams Astudio for the Twins. And that's going to be numbered to 999. Go ahead and sleeve those three suckers up real quick. But let me get rid of all this junk on my table. Yeah, we're going to break heritage tonight. Or we're going to break uh, that chrome box tonight. I like chrome. Man, I like it so much. I feel like I'm probably going to end up driving back up to the hobby shop and buying more chrome. We had it at a pretty good price up there. It wasn't terrible. It's a nice box. Uh, the people are starting to get desperate for it, I'll tell you that. Kyle Schwarber, very nice numbering. 571, yeah, it is a weird number, isn't it? Um, I think they're doing it because this is the 71 design, I believe. Because you can get the uh, white borders are numbered to 71. Or maybe they're numbered to 70, no, they're numbered to 71. <clears throat> All right. Optic box next. This is the big one. We're going to get an auto out of here. That's my prediction. Do you get one auto guaranteed out of these? What do you get? Find one autograph on box per average. Or po <laughs> per average on... Oh my goodness. Per box on average. How is that difficult to say? Shouldn't be. Good luck to you guys. What's up, Joey? How you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you guys don't know, I met Joey in the hobby shop there in Colorado Springs. That was super fun. We're going to have to do the same thing with the uh, bonus pack. We'll just do every other card. Aaron Breaks. Thank you for stopping by. And yes, good luck to all of us that are in this, in this thing. Prefer baseball cards myself. That's all right. Uh, the value is, is in... Uh, this one's going to BJ first. Ronald Acuna Jr., Jorge Soler, Aristides Aquino. Very nice. And Fernando Tatis. Sweet. I'll sleeve the Tatis and the Aquino. Aquino, the rookies. I like Aquino. However, the uh, he might have been a flash in the pan. He might have been a flash in the pan. Oh, we should get this set up correctly here. Uh, a lot of people prefer baseball, um, but I'll tell you what, the value that I have gotten out of Pokemon has been able to fund my baseball habits. Ryan Mountcastle, Prism, and Michael King. I'll sleeve your Mountcastle for you. No auto so far, so you guys are going to be holding your breath for when I pull my pack. I'm glad you did too, Aaron. Yeah, I remember uh, meeting you there. I, I, uh, I, it's usually pretty late, but now that you say that, I remember it. Wander Franco, Prospect Auto. That's a nice one. Not Auto, sorry. Adbert Alzale. Wander Franco. I'll sleeve the Franco. Rated Prospect. Shaboygmo. Yeah, thank you for stopping by, Aaron. I really do appreciate it. It's a... Uh, fun to, to rip cards live. I get kind of antsy if I don't rip enough. Here we go. BJ is going to get the auto this time. This is going to BJ. We're going to go ahead and pull the Brian Anderson and we'll pull the Kirby Puckett from the back. And then let's see. JR. Josh Rojas. It's going to be a Josh Rojas for Arizona. Josh Rojas. He's a hitter. At least he didn't get a pitcher auto. That's nice. Josh Rojas. 
It's kind of a neat auto too. It's uh, pretty big across the card. Pretty sloppy, but I don't hate it. Josh Rojas. Probably don't hate it because it's my name. Josh. Yeah, Pokemon is selling like hotcakes. It's insane. What's up, Hobby Searcher? Uh, this is going to be a Jonathan Villar. It's a silver prism there. Don Mattingly and Tony Gonsolin. I'll sleeve your silver prism. Yeah, I've found a way more profit margin off of Pokemon. It's easier to find product for Pokemon. And you're getting a lot more. Got a catcher auto yesterday. Well, at least you got somebody that's a, a good hitter. Rojas. Bryce Harper. Paul Goldschmidt. We're going to have a mythical Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a Lewis Thorpe. Lewis Thorpe. Back to BJ with this one. So we're coming up two packs short. That's okay. I'll I'll get shorted the pack. I don't mind that. Fernando Tatis Jr. Very nice. Eugenio Suarez. I believe it's pronounced Eugenio. I'm gonna top load that, so I'll set it aside. Um, but yeah, the the products that I've been getting are Hidden Fates. Um, almost impossible to find Hidden Fates, so that's gonna be a tough one. Uh, Darkness of Blaze is starting to come out. Some pre-release sales have been out in a, a few hobby stores. And uh, they've got a Charizard in that one. That's pretty sweet. If you can find any Unbroken Bonds on the shelf. Uh, Unbroken Bonds has a nice Reshram and Charizard inside of it. Charlie Blackman. Oh, a Kyle Lewis. Rated Prospect Prism. There you go, Casey. Shaboygan. That's going to be a quote-unquote big hitter. I'll even give it the bomb. Boom, baby. Gotta like that one. I'll go ahead and top load it as well. That one's going to Casey. Uh, the other ones you got were the Whit Merrifield Illusions and the AJ Puck Rookie. I'll go ahead and sleeve that puck for you, too. Kyle Lewis' stock is on the way up, my friends. He is just going up and up and up and up. Congrats, Casey, on Lewis. That was a nice one. Winning. Winning. All right. There's a Kyle Lewis on back. Who is that going to? We're going to have to find out. Our first one goes to BJ, Alberto Mondesi. Followed by a Trey Turner going to Casey. Jorge Soler going to El Canon. Anthony Rizzo going to BJ. A Jordan Alvarez. Nice. Ooh, and I'm going to get the Jonathan Daza. Sweet. Jordan Alvarez. Casey. Very nice prism right there. Hey, thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. You're doing football and basketball cards? Are you, uh... Wow, I didn't know that, man. Do you have a little channel going on? Jonathan Daza. I know we talked about it, and I know that you said you were going to start doing something. So Casey's going to get this other Kyle Lewis as well, but this Buster Posey is going to BJ. So you're going to get a paralleled Kyle Lewis as well. Sky blue parallel. That's pretty sweet. It's like a, yeah, it's like a, a reunion in here. we got BJ, Casey, Ranson, Brandon Williams. It's crazy. I went to school with all those guys. I appreciate the kind words, my friend. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see your channel. When did when did you, uh, are you have you started it? Have you been posting content? What have you uh, What have you been doing? Josh Rojas going to BJ. That's gonna do it for this break. Kyle Lewis for BJ. I'm giving that a bomb as well. On your blue parallel. Boom. Takes forever. It is a slow process starting up. It's always uh, kind of difficult. Finishing college in six months, so income will definitely be up and hoping to get some uh, side hustle going. Well, that's all this has been for me is a sweet side hustle. It's a lot of fun. I love getting on here and just sharing my love of the sport, uh, my love of collecting. Um, I'm even going to top load your yord on. 
Casey's been on a hot streak. I'm getting all the fire. Casey and BJ, let me go ahead and mark these so I know. No, no. Casey and BJ. Yeah, hey man, it's awesome to get a channel up and running. So what's your channel, Brandon? I can't make you a mod because it signed me in as a different person. But uh, if you uh, tell your channel to one of my mods, they can drop your link in here. If you don't mind checking out Brandon's channel for me, he's doing basketball and football. Two things that I'm pretty weak on. So that's kind of cool. We might have to collaborate a little bit, Brandon, because I do uh, want to get into... Uh, basketball and football a little bit more and I was talking with BJ and Casey about that tonight Kyle Lewis for Casey and they're uh, they're kind of interested too trying to get a little side hustle going swanky it's Williams Allen sports cards but not too active yet waiting for that PSA shipment to come back yeah man uh, PSA shipments are super fun but once again they're only one day of, <laughs> of content uh do we get into the black golds we have black golds in optic that would be sweet i didn't know there were those in optic football and basketball are two main i'm interested in Papa Rance is definitely interested in those so there you are brandon jumping into my streams and stealing my friends already punk a little punk i'm kidding you're not a punk all right, let me check the orders here real quick and see what's come through. Uh, we're going to break that chrome tonight, I think. I think we're going to break it. There's 15 spots left. We can sell five spots out of there. Wow, we only have five down. Oof. So if we can sell five more spots out of chrome, it's $10 a team. We will break the chrome hobby box tonight. Because I'll take the last 10. I don't mind at all. I like taking spots in Chrome. <laughs> so is I, Brandon. I mean, we are all kind of punks in high school, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, we were all little punks. But uh, you kind of got it extra rough, though, because your dad was the principal. And so people, you know, you know how the principal's kids are. People are always like, eh, he's the principal's son, oh, son of a... <clears throat> We did the same thing with Larry Kasky, don't worry. Boy, Greg, I hope you get some fire out of this, man. Let me buy something, random teams. Yeah, it's random teams. Um, can you, one of my uh, mods, drop the link for the website once again, if you don't mind dropping that in there. Random teams, then I do a trade period. So we have like a you know, 10, 15 minute trade period until like, you know the trading really slows down. And then we're good to go. There's Brandon Williams' channel. If you haven't checked him out, go ahead and subscribe to him. I'm going to right now. Switch account. Sign in as that one. Subscribe. Wow, you got some content already. Sweet, man. So I'm going to start looking. Your, your content is from uh, seven months. So you've been trying to wait for your PSA to come back to really kick it off. It's a good way to kick it off, man. It'll be a good, good kickoff. <laughs> when you don't get the White Sox, Mariners, or Astros. Well, you're in luck, my friend, in some respects. And luck in the sense that you have uh, some more options today. So if I'm in a brick, big break like this with this many spots, uh, I trade to the first person who tells me they want to trade. That trade has to come into the chat, and I have to see it into the chat. It's got to be the first one that's in there. And it has to be after we've already randomized. So as soon as I open the trade window, you see what team I have and you have. And you say, I want to trade Tigers for White Sox. All right. The first person to tell me is going to get the trade. No questions asked. So um, I trade any of my teams. And uh, I usually get stuck with all the junky teams. And I usually end up getting an auto or two. So not not too mad about it. It's worked out okay for me. Not a lot of money, but uh, got a lot of autos. Who knows? One of them might turn out, might pan out. And when I have that many spots in a break, I just, you know, I don't like to 
to hold the big teams. I like to pull some some fire for you guys. So I take the risk. Why not? Definitely learned a lot, huh? Yeah, I saw that. I mean, I think we talked about it, and you were going to go and do some streams, and uh, I'm glad you did. Hopefully, your uh, your kickoff week is going to be cool. Kickoff day or whatever. you got to let me know when you're going to be premiering that PSA return. I've got oh, six orders into PSA right now. 350 cards, another 150 card order going in, and then another 100 card Pokemon order going in. So I'll have over 500 cards into PSA. Uh, probably close to 600, maybe 600 cards. Hobby Searcher got three spots. Thank you, Hobby Searcher. Appreciate that. Looks like we are close. We only need to sell one more spot. And we will be able to break this thing. Chrome is so much fun to open, too, because it's just... It's only four cards per pack. Unless you get the Jumbo, and then Jumbo's like eight cards a pack, or ten cards, something like that. The jumbo packs are fun to open too. Last night, if you guys weren't around for last night, I uh, opened a jumbo personal box. That was sweet. Uh, no, I didn't renew it, but I'm gonna have to renew it this week when I send that submission. And when it, I'm not, I'm waiting for Casey and BJ to send me the cards that they want to get graded. So as soon as those arrive, I'm gonna send. I'm, in fact, I'm, I'm tempted to just send it in, and and they can wait. That's my temptation. Maybe that'll get the molasses out your asses. Okay, so the two big pulls from last night of that break. We got a Michael King number to 50. Uh, pretty sweet looking card right there. Not a huge name, but a nice Michael King autograph. And then this one was the big boy. Came out of our first pack last night. Jordan Alvarez, rookie autograph, base. But it's in beautiful condition, so. BJ's still waiting on top loaders. You know, you can just go down to Walmart and buy top loaders, BJ. Actually, they're probably out of stock. Might not be able to get them there. Brandon got a spot. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. I really hope there's some fire in this box for you. Who knows? Got it from the hobby store. I've found some really good stuff in the hobby store lately, so I've had some phenomenal pulls. Yeah, it was a filthy auto. It was not as cool as the auto I got the other day for my sister. Where did I put that card? I have to go through each one of these individually trying to find it. She asked me to grade it for her. I said, all right. I mean, there's a little scratch on it, but hey, at least it'll be encased. You're not going to have to deal with or worry about it. Just a moment. This is one of the reasons why I like Chrome so much, because there's so many different things you can get. Oof. Yeah, they could just authenticate it. That'd be good. I mean, the scratches are minor. Like, you'd have to look really close. I know that a, a PSA guy would pick it up, but uh, anyways, I've given them a few options. They're still going to grade it. Fine. If it comes back a nine, I think it'll be decent. This is the card we pulled for. Kyle Lewis, dual signatures with Justin Dunn, number to 25. Phenomenal pull. You can't even see the scratches through the the sleeve here. And they're in this black right here, so it's it's really not very noticeable at all. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, PSA has been somewhat lenient with grades, so we'll see. Stemmer's Hits, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Aaron Brakes is in as well. All right, well, now that we've got this many people in, let me go ahead and start typing this stuff into the break. 
I'm gonna have to open a new Excel spreadsheet. I was not really anticipating filling this break tonight. I thought we might, but random.org. Can't, it's not random. Random. There we go. Excel spreadsheet, we'll pop that up too. What's up, Blue Rock? I know, such a sick card. Whew. Super nice. Uh, they said they're going to hold on to it. So, that's cool. Hold the card, see what happens. This is a Topps Chrome Hobby Break number two. Is this number two? I think it's number two. Oh, brother. It keeps having me verify on random.org as though... Well, he's generous containing a train. Train, train. That looks like it's a train. That looks like it's a train, too. So does that one. Train. Um, train. Train. Yeah. I've been verified as a human. Yeah, it's hard to find football product right now. I went and looked for some basketball product. It was super expensive. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's some football that's going to be coming out this upcoming week. So that's uh, one of the things I was talking to the guy at the card shop about. Uh, he's got a lot of football products that are going to be released. So I will be having uh, some football products broke soon. Very soon. Brandon says he does uh, basketball and football. So you can check his site out. Uh, we did drop the link in. I'm barely human, but yeah, I, I do meet the human criteria. Josh Allen rookie to send you. Ooh, Manuel's going to like that. I got a nice little Josh Allen too. But it's hard for me to send Manuel stuff because he doesn't buy anything, so I don't have his address. <laughs> I'm just playing, dude. <laughs> there is no pressure here from my... Uh, for my uh, channel. I just like breaking stuff. And I don't like doing it alone. I've described this multiple times. But opening stuff alone. like Or telling you know my family about a break. Or a card that I pulled. And they're like well. I mean. You know cool. Good for you. And I'm always like yeah. That's, I, I want the reaction to be. Much stronger than that. Give me a big reaction. You guys do. You give me those reactions. All right. Looks like Aaron got three spots. Even if it's just via message, you can tell when there's somebody pumped about a, a poll that you have. Brandon's got a spot. William Brown with three spots. Hobby Searcher with three spots. Casey with one spot. Greg. Ooh, Greg's got five spots. Maybe more. I have to go down the list and check. We have Richard. Richard's got five, six, seven, eight spots. Wife bought two firearms this weekend, so you can't break again. What? What did uh? What did your wife get? I'm a huge firearm nut, if you guys don't know that about me. I've built uh, several AR-15s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, Richard is in for eight. ESPN de ocho.
Is that Richard for eight spots in this one? Well, that was our last break that we did. That was the one box break typed in like that. Okay. All right, so I think Richard's only in for five spots. I'm sorry, Greg did buy 10 spots, not five. My bad, Greg. You are correct. I think Richard got three there. All right, Greg. Or uh, five, Richard got five. One box break, number two. Okay, so I did label it number two. That makes it easier for me. <laughs> you don't label it correctly. Oh boy, you're gonna have a rough time. And BJ, you were into that other one. Yeah, that was last time. Okay, so it looks like we have all those spots there. All right, let me refresh my order, see if any more came in. Casey Harris in the house says, hey, I'm learning. Yes, you are learning. Hey, you've got a phenomenal card here. I was just showing it off to everybody. There it is again, if you want to take a look at it, Casey. Thank you for joining us live one more time. I really appreciate that. Oliver, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. A Canic 9 mil and a 12 gauge. TriStar Cobra 3, nice. 12 gauge, I got a nice... Uh, Remington 870, the pretty standard 12 gauge out there. Do love that 12 gauge though. It's a very nice gun. Uh, yeah, you gotta hit me up, man. They're fun to build. And I've built mine like they were 80% milled. And so uh, you can just mill the rest yourself. And ATF allows it, it's completely legal. But they're unserial numbered. That's what's called the ghost gun, quote unquote. And uh, I've built a couple of those. Uh, they're pretty sweet. I've had a lot of fun with the AR-15s. For shooting, the very first time I shot an AR-15 that I built, I was pretty nervous because I was like, what is going to happen here with this gun? <laughs> like, I have no clue. But everything went off without a hitch. It's a beautiful gun. It's been uh, really phenomenal. So I'll trade four of those chrome boxes for that judge autograph, Elkanon. Quarantine Dragon Fan Tim, I did get your tweet. Uh, I was driving, so I didn't respond to it, but uh, that sounds like a decent trade to me, man. I do have a base one, and I'd like to get another McMahon auto. I have quite a few, but, uh, well, I probably only have, like, one or two. Not quite. A, I have quite a few Rockies autos as a whole. But, uh, yeah, that sounds like a decent trade to me. Uh, Josh Saucy. I like the name Josh. That is also my first name. But I go by El Canon on here. It's my stage name, El Canon. Try to keep me incognito. But I don't think I've seen you in here before, Josh Saucy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Do you have a, a channel uh, that you would like to direct people to? If you do, um, let us know. Puns. What are we talking about? Puns. Rapunzel. I don't get it. I got done shooting a Glock and a 22 with my dad. Ooh, Glocks are fun. I like Glocks a lot. I used to have one, but I uh, ended up giving it to my sister. She helped when I was gone. Went to rehab for a little while. It was nice. And uh, ended up uh, getting out, getting sober, obviously. And she took care of a lot of my business stuff while I was gone. And so I gave her a nice little Glock 47, which is a nine, compact 9mm. Nine Super nice gun. Really fun. Um, so I gave that to my sister. and It was awesome. Uh, there is no donation, Josh. Uh, I'm not big enough to be able to accept donations, but you can buy into the brakes if you'd like. The brakes are, uh, if somebody can drop my link, one of my mods can drop a link for them, that would be great. Michael Lucia, Jesus is the light. I don't disagree with that at all. I am Lupke's daddy. Uh, Lucky. Who's Lucky? Am I, have I missed Lucky? I'm not very good with names, to be honest with you. Thank you, Aaron Brakes. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. I've, oh, let's see here. I'm, I'm over three months sober. Over three months. Um, I've been on a recovery journey for about eight years. I was sober for about two years uh, at one point. That was a good, good amount of sobriety. But then I got married and divorced. And I did not handle it well. This time I learned what my triggers are, exactly what I need to handle, how I need to process things um, in an emotionally healthy way. It's pretty tough, but... 
Sounds good, Dragon Fan Tim. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely hit you up. Thank you, Hobby Searcher, for dropping that break or that uh, link. I really appreciate it. If you want to go to that link, you can check it out. We do have seven spots left in this break. I'll leave it open for a little bit here and see if anybody else wants to get into these breaks. Uh, otherwise, I will take the last seven spots. So, thank you, Casey. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm much happier than I've ever been um, on a whole new high. Um, now people are like, hey, you want a drink? I'm like, nah, man, you need like four or five of those to catch up with me. So, <laughs> I just live on a, on a different level. But it, it, it honestly, like, you know, going to rehab this time and like really learning what the core of my issue was, was just a freedom that I had not known in a long time. And being able to discover that freedom and uh, be able to run with it is just, it's just awesome. Papa Rance always loses. It happens, man. It happens. Yeah, I do need people's numbers. Absolutely. I've, I've learned that the opposite of addiction is connection. And so uh, connecting with people is the way to, to stay sober. Even though you only shot the Glock 20, that's all right, man. I mean, a 22 is a good gun to start out with. It's a fun gun. It's a nice gun. It's a Glock. Aaron breaks. Yeah, I got divorced and a bit out of hand. I get that, dude. Divorces are rough. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a whole new freedom when you're not... When you're not out there just jonesing all the time for something else. Now I jones for baseball cards. I simp for baseball cards. <laughs> I am, I literally have a, probably a, a too much of an addictive personality to be doing baseball cards. Because I'm, like, I wake up thinking about them. I go to sleep going, man, I should have streamed today. Now I've been streaming, like, way more. I stream almost every day on the weekends. Even though I say I'm only going to go Friday. I end up going Saturday night. end up going Sunday night. Then I do Monday for Pokemon. Uh, Wednesday, I, I tend to skip a little bit more. I'm not doing not nearly as much during the week, but uh, anyways. Josh Saucy won a shot. Don't tempt me, Frodo. Uh, yeah, and it can't even tempt me anymore, really. I mean, it just, like, the compulsion or the, the, what do they call it? Uh, the, well, whatever, it's gone. Like, I have no desire anymore. It's just gone. Great. Brandon, that's good to hear, man. Uh, been down there and sober life is empowering. That's a, uh, yeah, it's a tough road to go down. You know, it's not that fun. You know, it's pretty miserable down there and it's uh, kind of a lonely area because you end up just being alone in your apartment every day going, man, why are all my friends having wives and kids and houses and, you know, good jobs and all this stuff and I'm still stuck in one place? Well, maybe put down the booze, you idiot. So, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Happy for you too, Brandon. That's awesome. Thank you, Greg B. I really appreciate that, man. <laughs> yeah, don't share your whiskey collection with me, man. No, there's plenty of other ways we can connect, even with people that are, you know, it. Everybody has their own journey. Like anybody who uses isn't just a isn't some addict right away. I just have an addictive personality, and that shines through in cards. I mean, I I have to open a pack every day. I open a pack of cards at least one every day. I'm just obsessed. Yeah, you don't need to worry about divorce, Oliver. You're young, you got plenty of time, and uh, don't worry, man. Divorce, you know, if it happens, it happens. But uh, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to go down that road. Drinking blood, man, Lucia. I would advise against that if I were you, you vampire. Cards are as bad. <laughs> Love crack as far as an addiction. I agree with you, man. It is an obsessive, compulsive behavior uh, to have to get cards. You know, if you can turn that into, like, breaking even, which has always been my goal, and I've said this, I'll say it again. My goal when I'm collecting is to be able to break even and collect my PC. That's why I started a channel is because I wanted to share my love of collecting with you guys. I had to figure out a way to open cards with other people. You know, having a channel uh, gives me the opportunity to do that. I get to pull some stuff. I get to flip those things that, uh, you know, are big pulls, get them graded PSA. And PSA has really been the kicker. I mean, that's the only real way I've made a lot of money is... And I haven't made a ton of money in this hobby. In fact, I've broken even and been able to collect my PC, which I think is a great goal. And I'm actually pretty amazed that I've been able to do that. Most people just lose money. And so I've been able to at least break even, which is nice. Man, I'm probably in the hole a little bit, you know, a couple hundred bucks maybe. But uh, for a whole year of collecting, that's pretty good. Um, over a year now, I think I broke my one year uh, birth date of streaming live on YouTube last month. So we're over a year now, which is crazy. 
Switch to card collecting. Uh, switch to card collecting after 100 bottles of whiskey collection. Nice. I feel like I'm always switching from one thing to the next. Yeah. Yeah, I always liked uh, scotch. That was like my drink. Love me some scotch. Casey Harris is in for a spot. Thank you, Casey. Appreciate that. She's going to try again for another big hit. That'd be cool. <laughs> you love kids that's excited. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank you, Oliver, man. Yeah, you know, Pokemon's fun, uh, but I really care about baseball. Pokemon is just a way, a means to an end for me. I like Charizard, but I don't play the game. I didn't really get into it that much when I was younger. I collected some cars because my friends were collecting, but I was a lot older than all my friends. I went to a five-kid grade school. Five. So there was nobody in my school, and I was, like, in eighth grade. The next closest one was in, like, fifth or sixth grade to me in age. So, uh, you know, all my friends were quite a bit younger, and they were all into Pokemon cards in 1999. I was, like, 13 or 14, maybe 13, 12 or 13 when they first came out. Oliver says he might get a couple spots. We better hurry up, Oliver, because I think we're going to break this at 8.45. So I'm going to leave it open for about seven more minutes. If anybody wants to buy in, we got about seven more minutes before I'm actually going to break the cards. So uh, I know that it's Sunday night. A lot of people are going to have to get to work in the morning or work from home in the morning. But, uh, yeah, got a little bit of time there. The Lord's Way is all becoming of our spirit. Well... You just said that you like to drink blood, so very interesting. <laughs> trying to figure you out, Michael. Yeah, breaking even is, is the goal, isn't it? Being able to... Uh... Joey was busy graduating in 99. Let's see, I graduated in from grade school in 2000. I graduated from high school in 2004. I was partying like it was 1999 in 99. <laughs> I always use that. Uh, except I use 85. Partying like it's 1985. Maybe he means the blood of Christ. That's a good point. The diamond icons, but 14-year-old kid can buy just that product. Dude, the diamond icons, so cool. Great looking product. What's it going for on Blowout? I was just looking today. And I was actually lusting over it. I was like, oh man, diamond icons. I've seen some of that stuff opened and it is really cool. Was it on page three that I saw you, you diamond icon punk? Luminaries. $300 for a hobby box of 2020 luminaries. It's really not terrible. Oh man, top sterling. Whew. 2020 top sterling is... One hobby box is 1,124 bucks, 25 bucks, 1,125. An eight box case is 8,900. That is incredible. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by, Michael. Hey, can one of my mods take care of Michael, please? Toss him out of here. Yes, you need to block Johns. Yeah, Josh Saucy, too. Both getting in on this. I don't know what they're doing here. It's unfortunate. But uh, get him out of the stream. I tried to give him a chance. Over it. Thank you, Johns. Appreciate it. It's a bummer, guys. I wish uh, wish you guys could uh, figure out how to get along with people. It's frustrating. But you're out of here. That's that's too bad. I haven't had that issue before where I've had guys come in and have to run their mouths. All right, Diamond Icons. 
Back to Diamond Ike. Back to baseball. Who cares about them? $2,200 for a hobby box of Diamond Icons baseball. $2,200. It's not just kids who can't afford that. All right, Oliver. It is also me who can't afford it. It's expensive. $2,200. No way I'm buying a box of that. All right, we got three more minutes before I'm going to break into this. Yes, thank you, mods. Very much appreciated. Got rid of the riffraff. All right, it looks like we are... Aaron B., yep, we got you in there. Brandon, Hobby Search, Casey, Greg, Richard H., and Josh. Yeah, none of us can buy, man. That's just, just too expensive. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if you're going to get, like, a box of, what is it, Transcendent Baseball? A case of Transcendent is, like, $20,000, $24,000? Something insane like that. Definitive, Top's Definitive Hobby Box is, like, 1600 bucks. And I've often found that the hits you get out of there don't, I mean, you, you have to really get a good hit to be able to pay for the box. You really do. I mean, that's why I have a, a tough time with high-end product. That's why I like uh, flagship products. I like uh, hobby products because they're quite a bit cheaper and the upside is, is big. But the upside on those other boxes is not very big at all. I mean, in fact, there's a lot of downside, which is really just frustrating. Yeah, Luminaries. Ooh, Luminaries is sweet. See, Tier 1 even. Tier 1 is like, it's now at 170 per hobby box on Blowout. That's crazy. I can get Tier 1 at my LCS for 130 bucks. My LCS is awesome. I mean, when I say mine, it's like not even in my town. It's more Joey's than it is mine. Joey lives in that town. It's all the way up in Colorado Springs. Okay, how many spots are we at? So I'm going to have to take the last... How many? Let me check. Yeah, Luminaries is expensive. Six spots. Okay, so Elkanon gets six spots. Alright, we are good to go. LCS means local card shop. Local card shop. Local card shops can usually get better prices uh, because they have distributor deals with Tops and Panini and Upper Deck and all those companies, so um, they're able to do it a lot cheaper. Three, four, five, 30 spots, good. <clears throat> yeah, they're able to get um, much better, much better prices. Uh, Panini won't get it for at least two years because uh, they re-signed, Tops re-signed a deal for another two years. So at least another, at least another two years. Got a tier one as well and got an Altuve one of five jumbo patch. That's pretty cool, except it's Altuve. Ugh, poor guy. He got a cheater patch. <laughs> I, I'm too hard on the Astros. I'm not. This isn't anything against Astros fan. In fact, if I was an Astros stan, fan, I'd still be an Astros fan after that. You know, it's not going to change my allegiance to the team. It changes my allegiance to the players who cheated, though. And I would have a rough time watching those guys and really respecting them. Once they're out of there, you know, things will go back to normal. It'll be fine. But oof. Finest gold label is like the highest I want to pay. Yeah, we're th thinking about getting a case of gold label in here. That would be kind of nice. All right, I'm going to hide this from the site so nobody else buys spots. Last time I had somebody buy some spots, uh, which was a bummer, after I had already done the break. So I had to refund them. Felt bad. Didn't mean to do that, but I just forgot to take it off. All right. This isn't showing up at all, so we're going to have to pick which window to capture. Yes, that one. Hmm. I love gold. I like gold, too.
There we go. All right, I had to just full screen the thing. That's okay, that'll work. Pull up another random.org so we can get our teams. And another one so we can get our dice roll. And let me switch it over so you guys can see what we're looking at here. Let's randomize it. There we go. Done and done. And then I need my list of MLB teams. Sorry, I'm not paying much attention to the chat right now. I'm trying to set this break up for us. And this will be a dice roller. All right, looks like we're good to go here. I'm going to go ahead and transition this over. You guys can see. And I'm going to pop out of that screen so it's not... Oops, there we go. All right, let me go back through. Cheap is the high end, even though I was considering high end. I've gotten a few high end products that are pretty fun to buy and crack into, but it's hard to do a break with high end products. It's fun to throw them into like a mixer break. Um, but just a high-end product on its own, especially if it's like three cards inside, like a Bowman Chrome HTA. I mean, it's very tough to get people to buy into that because three people are going to get cards, or maybe even one person if they're all the same team. Usually they're not. And the rest are going to get skunked. And who wants to get skunked in a break? I mean, you have the chance at getting something. That's nice, and that's it's a risk, obviously, because you're buying uh, you know, a spot into a break that you might not get anything from. I've had that happen multiple times. I've bought into plenty of breaks where I've gotten zero, zilch, nothing, nada. That happens, and that's the risk you're taking when they take a high-end product and break it down into those small increments where you're paying 20, 25 bucks a spot. That's quote-unquote small for some of the high-end products, but uh, it can be even more expensive than that. Aaron's got three within five miles? Ooh, that's sweet. I would love to have that. My closest LCS is three hours. <laughs> three hours. All right. We're going to roll the dice and see how many times we're going to randomize the list. So that's a four and a one. We're going to randomize the list five times. Here are the list of all the participants. And a special thank you to Aaron B., Brandon W., Hobby Searcher, Casey, Greg B., Richard H., Casey H., and yours truly, El Canon. All right, we're going to randomize this list five times, like I said, and I will let you know your teams. I'm going to throw them into an Excel spreadsheet, and we'll make it a little bit easier for you to see on screen. Let's randomize twice, three times, four times, five times, and that's what we needed. Five times. Brandon W. at the top, Aaron B. on the bottom. I'll have to go back and show that once uh, once this is done here. Now we're going to randomize our teams five times as well. Randomize one, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. We're going to have to make this break somewhat quick. I'm going to have to restart the playlist. Sorry. All right, there we go. Make this break somewhat quick because I only have 25% left on my phone. Either that or I'm just going to have to go get my cable. I could do that, I guess. I'm such a lazy bum. All right, so... Oh, boy. I'm going to have to move this a lot. Let's get our teams on screen. There we go. Let's see if I can blow it up a little bit. All right, now let me uh, sort these teams so that they're in alphabetical order. Sweet. 
All right, Aaron B., you have the Colorado Rockies, Oakland Athletics. Nice, Atlanta Braves. Brandon W., you have the Kansas City Royals. Casey H. with the Arizona Diamondbacks. El Canon with the Red Sox, Cubs, Padres, New York Mets, Cincinnati Reds, San Francisco Giants. Greg B. has the Houston Astros, the Twins, the Rays, the Rangers, the Yankees, the White Sox, the Brewers, the Dodgers, the Marlins, and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Very nice teams there, Greg. Hobby Searcher with the Detroit Tigers, Phillies, and Orioles. Casey's got the Seattle Mariners. Very nice. Uh, for a one-spot mojo, that's a nice team. Richard H. with the Angels. Nice pickup there. St. Louis Cardinals, Toronto Blue Jays. Also a nice pickup. Cleveland Indians and Washington Nationals. So the trade window is open. I will trade any of my teams, like I said. So first person to put it into the chat now that I have TW open will get the trade. No questions asked. All right, let me go back through the chat. I've been missing a lot of stuff. My goodness. Albany, New York, Greg, I see. Casey was wanting to know if you've heard from Saul Rosenberg lately. You wanted me to see Saul Rosenberg on stream? Come on. Casey, it's funny because you, you think there's funny things about me, and the funny things that I have done have just been like, I've lucked into them. You know, it's like I didn't try to be funny, but then when you ask me to dance like a monkey, I just can't do it. I'm just not that funny. East Coast, Worst Coast, I agree with Papa Rance on that. Saul Rosenberg. You, yes, I would like to ask about a problem I'm having with my behind. I sat on a thermostat and it snapped like, like, like a pencil. And now it's stuck up there. And I was wondering if you had someone who could fish it out for me. Random questions to chat Nelkin on. What is your best birthday gift? Whew. Best birthday gift. I don't know, man. My family, you know, birthdays weren't like the biggest thing. You know, we had fun. It was just spending time with my family. Being able to go out to eat with them uh, on my birthday is like one of my favorite things to do. So I love being able to do that because there's just no stress. Um, so, you know, as far as gifts go, material stuff, I could care less. You know, probably a wallet. My parents got me a wallet finally. It took them years. I asked for a wallet every year for years and finally they got me one. And I still have it unused. I'm waiting until this one wears out. So I'm pretty excited about that. In fact, it's even right here. I can show it. It's not that cool of a wallet. It's just a wallet. But look at this nice, beautiful wallet. They had a really nice inscription on it. I was very happy with that. Super nice. My parents are great. Good people. Um, we're going through some struggles right now, but they're good, good people. <clears throat> interesting your local card shop does an odd interesting way of doing breaks all right i gotta go back all the way holy cow i said tw open at least canon got some good teams in this uh not so good side <laughs> got teams on the not so good side see what you're saying casey getting the mirrors i know that's a good, nice one spot pickup oliver would love to swipe the padres didn't buy in don't worry about it man it's all right can i get mets for marlins do i have the marlins Mets, okay, yep. Miami Marlins for the New York Mets. You got it, Greg. Cubs Royals, that's a request. Chicago Cubs, Kansas City Royals. You guys are going to regret this. Chicago Cubs. Uh, Kansas City Royals. Where was the other one? Wait a second. Was I supposed to type in? Who asked that? Brandon. Okay, where was Brandon at? Kansas City Royals. There we go. Sorry, I don't know why I was having a tough time. <laughs> I love you too, Casey. Thank you so much. Uh, what was this, Cubs? Chicago Cubs for the Kansas City Royals. Okay. That one is done. Oh, we got a bunch of messages retracted here. What's going on? <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. Saul Rosenberg. Yes, I'd like to speak with your driver. He cut me off in traffic, and I don't I don't see so good. 
the dirty, rotten son of a bitch. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't curse on here. Keep it clean. But I got a nice dinner with the fan. That's very nice, man. Just got two week Chicago or week trip to Chicago. Yeah, I've never been to Chicago. I'd love to go. That's freaking awesome. I would love to do that. Nice dinner with the fam. That'd be cool. Yeah, I would love to go to Chicago. I know. That's super nice. If you can go on a trade, going with them, I'm hoping, or by yourself. And a hat and some cards, of course. Hey, a card for a birthday is awesome. That's what I've been giving away as birthday gifts. <laughs> I get like a graded card. My buddy's a Mets fan, or my brother in law's a Mets fan, and I always hit, hook him up with something. My other brother in law, I haven't gotten a, an Atlanta card graded yet, so I haven't been able to hook him up. But I will at some point. I will at some point. Trade so far, Mets for Marlins and Royals for Cubs. Thank you for keeping uh, that up-to-date, Papa Rants. Watch, two auto, uh, autos be the Royals and the Marlins. Hey, that's happened before. I've had breaks where people trade, give me the crap teams, and I end up getting all the autos. So, I'm like I said, it, it it's six to one, half dozen to the other for me. Hope you get a Tatis. That would be sweet, a nice Tatis. I have been pulling some fire lately, but you know I don't want you guys to get in your in your hopes up here. You know it's it's a break. You know how these things go. Anytime you open a hobby box, it's hit or miss. You may get something nice. You may no, the whole box might be a dud. In fact, uh, of the five autos we pulled yesterday out of that jumbo box, only that Yordan was good. Still, the Yordan's a good hit, but uh, you know the rest of them weren't that great. Do you want your Rockies? I've got plenty of Rockies, bud. Uh, I don't need them. If you want to trade them, you can, but I don't really need the Rockies. I've got plenty of their stuff. Um, although I don't have any autos from them this year out of Chrome. Are there any Rockies autos in Chrome? I didn't even check because usually they're they're not uh, they're pretty far down the list as far as value. From the other guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He said that he would... Oh, goodness. I don't even want to get into that. That was a hilarious scene, though. Please don't make me do this anymore. <laughs> uh, Oliver's the youngest here, and he doesn't care. I don't, and it's not about being young or not. It's just, you know... It's not a good habit to do live. I don't want an employer coming back and watching this and being like, You said son of a bitch at one point. I'm trying to apply for a church job or something. Joffa Leal, what's up, man? Sorry, I'm still trying to catch up with the chat, so I got a lot... A lot of stuff to read here. Good to see you, Jaffa. Aaron Brakes, so true. Coming through with the wisdom. Thank you. Experiences are better than things, my friends. You will realize that eventually. Things go away, but people are forever. Relationships are forever. Um, unless, of course, it was my ex-wife. <laughs> Check out the two stadiums from the outside. Smart idea. Jaffa, I really appreciate you stopping by, dude. It's great to see you. All going to be very... All right, I'm going to close the trade window here. Since it's 9 o'clock, I don't see any more trades coming in. So I'm going to do TWC. You guys can stop me if you want. If you have like a late coming in, you better get it in very fast. But trade window closed. Big mojo. Yeah, no problem, Aaron Briggs. Thank you. I mean, if you wanted one of my teams, you're more than welcome to trade the Rockies for them. But uh, yeah, I don't have much fire there. Although the, they got the Reds there, although Aquino's on the downslide. There is a Tatis possibility. I kind of forgot about that. It is his second year card, but who knows? But yeah, I'm I trade anything. Let's break break before my body implodes. All right, Casey is an old man on the East Coast, so we're gonna have to do this thing. All right, let's do it. Good luck to everybody in the break, and once again, a special thank you to everyone who bought in. I really hope that I can pull you some fire. Uh, that would be a lot of fun for me to see tonight. So. Let's fingers crossed that we're going to get... This is a good box. Good luck, everybody. Well, I'm, I'm still thinking about the riffraff that was in here. What, what was up with that? I've seen that happen in a few other streams, and all I'm chalking it up to is I'm starting to get big. If people want to get in here and start making uh, obscene comments, it's because they don't like what's going on. I'm starting to get big. Sick knife, I like it. Oh, where did I get that? Oh, I know where that came from. That came from my subscription to the National Rifle Association, which I was a member of for a, a, a hot three months. And then I said, all right, enough with this. I was sick of getting the calls and everything, and who cared? Cares. Alberto Mondesi, 
and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First pack right there. We didn't get any refractors out of the first pack. Usually there's a refractor and insert in every pack. All right, Buster Posey. Collect card. Do I have the Cardinals? No, oh, sorry, man. I don't have them. Uh, Welker, Christian Yelich for the Brewers, and a Luis Castillo. Going to be two autos in this break, so good luck to anybody getting the autos. Indians seem to have a lot of autos in this, which is interesting. Matt Dice, Gene Segura. You're going to have a Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Future Stars. That's a nice looking card. And another Yelly. Christian Yelich. Yeah, burnt uh, from the NRA. They send you a free knife with your subscribers. I think that was the only reason I did it. There's the Fernando Tatis gold cup. Pete Alonzo, that is going to be a refractor. Very nice. Mets. Who had the Mets? Traded for him, didn't we? Pete Alonzo refractor, gold cup. We'll put him up there in our hits pile. Nothing for the stand yet so far. We'll wait and see if we can get something on the stand here in a minute. I haven't seen any picture variants yet. There we go, Nicky Lopez for the Kansas City Royals. <laughs> I bet you that's me. It is. <laughs> I told you guys. Green Wave, Nicky Lopez. I mean, it's not a big name at all. And an Aquino right behind him. Anthony Rizzo. But uh, that is our Green Wave refractor coming out of there. Number to 99 on the Nicky Lopez. I pulled quite a bit of Nicky Lopez. I mean, not a ton, but I've pulled a few autos and numbered cards. Yeah, great trade for him, of course. Kansas City Royals. I'm getting a getting a colored card right off the bat. Nice. Good. Congratulations, Elkanon. Max Scherzer, Jesus Lazardo, Trevor Williams. It's going to be a Prism Refractor. Trevor Williams, very nice. Damn, I know it's a nice card, isn't it? I pulled, uh, you know, last year I pulled a sweet Green Wave Refractor out of Chrome. It was a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie. Yeah, buddy. Alex Bregman, Andrew Benintendi, Paul DeJong. Is that going to be a refractor? It is. Paul DeJong refractor and Lorenzo Kane. It's interesting. In some of the boxes, the refractors are flipped upside down. In this box, they're not at all. So that's going to be a Paul DeJong for the St. Louis Cardinals refractor. Ozzy Albies. Matthew Boyd. Ronald Acuna Jr. 85 design. Uh, the 35th anniversary logo. And Jaime Candelario. Still looking for our first auto. That's what you get, Brandon. That's what you didn't you trade him? Yeah, you traded me the Royals for the Cubs. <laughs> All right, this is going to be our first auto. It looks like it's going to be a blue one, and it looks like a Seattle Mariner. 30, Jose Abreu. This could be a big one, but it, there's plenty of other Mariner names in here. I did pull uh, another Mariner the other day that was a blue. Nicky Lo or Tim Lopes. This looks like it's going to be a Mariner Auto. Yep, it's definitely a Mariner Auto, and it's going to be a pitcher, Justin Dunn. So it's not, not the Kyle Lewis that you were hoping for, but it is the Justin Dunn. Woo, that could have been a cool... Oh, I was hoping for a Kyle Lewis there. That would have been sweet. It is Justin Dunn. Not a bad card to pull. Justin Dunn, rookie. He is on the... The uh, dual auto with Kyle Lewis, but in this case, he's just by himself. Old Justin Dunn, numbered to, I believe, blue autos are numbered to 75, aren't they? No, 150. I'm sorry. Some of them are numbered to 75, though. Is it the blue wave that's numbered to 75, maybe? 99 of 150. Justin Dunn. Such buildup. And it happened to be the Justin Dunn. I saw a Seattle Mariners logo, and I was like, that's going to be it. But no, it wasn't. Decent hitters coming out of Seattle for sure. 
That is true. Kyle Lewis, man, he's on fire. The Mariners beat the Rockies today, but the Rockies already won the series, so I wasn't too worried about it. We just needed to take two of three. If we can do that the entire season, we're going to be in good shape. Rockies still have the best uh, record in the league. Well, that's not true anymore. I think we're down a couple percentage points, but we're still up on the Dodgers in our division by half a game, so take that, Dodgers. Congrats on the autos. Yes, very nice. If he gets his act together, make your money back with that. Maybe. Who knows? Did you block your my sister or did she block me? I have no clue. I don't know how to check that. There's going to be another blue in here. Boy, there's some color in this box. That's nice. Eloy Jimenez. Cody Bellinger. Is that a refractor? No. Cody Bellinger. We have a nice Mike Trout right there. And it's going to be Andres Munoz. Andres Munoz for the Padres. Both colors so far that are not autoed have gone to El Canon. I've gotten both colored cards. It's going to be numbered to 150. Surprised that we actually pulled this much color out of the box already. Blue color. Andres Munoz. Brandon Belt in the back. Austin Meadows here. Uh, Rogelio Armenteros. We're going to have a refractor, Carlos Santana. Prism Refractor and a Brandon Belt there on the back. For the Indians, Carlos Santana. Still looking for another auto out of this. Yeah, I have no clue what's happening with the, the blocking there. I didn't block anybody. I didn't I don't even think I can because my I'm not logged in as myself on my chat. That was so weird that it does that. Gleyber Torres. Mike Yastremski. Dansby Swanson, that's gonna be a refractor. Dansby Swanson. There's a little bow to these cards. And Bruzdar Greaterall. In fact, we'll sleep both of those. Greaterall is stepping it up. All right, see you, Oliver. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Bruzdar Greaterall. Yes, good luck to everyone. That's going to be a Dansby Swanson. Jose Urania. Mike Yastrzemski. Trent Grisham. There's an Aristides Aquino. Aquino! Mike Yastrzemski is popular on eBay right now. Well, he's been hitting well. He's been hitting very well. Jacob DeGrom, best pitcher in baseball right now. Sean Murphy. Dom Nunez. So it's going to be a Rockies autograph. That's going to Aaron B. Rockies. He wanted to trade him to me, and I refused. There you go, Dom. Uh, Aaron, sorry. You got a Dom Nunez. High hopes for this kid, Dom Nunez. Autograph. Rookie autograph. Sheboygmo. So those are going to be our two autos out of this box. Oh, that one's way too far back. We need one that's, that points it. There we go. Pops it up a little better. You can't even see it. <laughs> you can see part of it. And a Nico Horner here. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've got... A Mike Yastrzemski in from Papa Rants that's in getting graded right now. We'll see what we can get for Papa Rants on that Mike Yastrzemski flipping it. Alberto Hanser. Hanser Alberto. Yu Chang. Jake Rogers for the Detroit Tigers. And Jose Ramirez. Yeah, I, did, I do collect the Rockies, but uh, I pulled... I don't know if I've pulled any Rockies autos out of this one, but Dom Nunez, is he was not on my list of guys that I really wanted to pull. And my my PC is a little bit more limited than just the Rockies. It's more like the the uh, Aaron Otto and Charlie Blackman, those guys. Andrew Haney, Trevor Story, I like him. Brandon Lau and Alex Young. Brandon Lau, that's a refractor. Oh, no, it's not a refractor. Huh. Interesting. I thought they were going to have that as a refractor. Who knows? They might get a third auto in here. That would be cool. I kind of doubt it. Soroka. Cabrera. And we're going to have a Jordan Alvarez. That's nice. That's going to Greg B. Jordan Alvarez. Prism Refractor. There you go. That's a hit. Sheboygan. I'm even going to give that one the bomb. That might be the most expensive card we've pulled tonight. Beautiful card. Prism Refractor on the 
Jordan Alvarez. We'll put him in front of Nicky Lopez. Nobody cares about Nicky Lopez. How was the grading investment been working out for you? I haven't graded since it was $7 a card. The grading investment's been phenomenal for me, but I've been doing a lot of Pokemon, and Pokemon is like a, a you know, it's pretty easy to grade Pokemon cards because the curved, the rounded edges, and uh, yeah, it's just a lot easier. So I've been doing that with, with baseball. We'll see. I'm, the jury's still out for me on baseball. I've had some rough returns. Uh, when I say rough, I mean the majority were tens over half so that was good this is going to be a refractor of victor reyes but uh you know the investment uh i've definitely gotten my money back out of grading even at 12 bucks a card 12.50 how fast i'm getting them back man it's taken six months it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous eric hosmer i have a, a order that i sent in february 2nd that still hasn't come back rafael devers on the 85 scott kingery sliding into home yeah, still hasn't come back, and it's been six months. So it was that October or February 2 or February 10, something like that. I was hoping that by tomorrow they would have them in because that would be actually six months away. So Willie Mays in the 1960s. Willie Mays. Mauricio Dubon. Yeah, I'm glad you pulled that prism there, Greg. Bought in enough spots that you needed to have at least some card to get the the heat rolling. Dustin May, rookie card. That's a nice one. Noah Syndergaard, refractor. And that's John Means there in the back. Yeah, market can change a lot in that time. You really have no clue what's going to happen. So, um, you know, this time I've been betting on guys that I feel are pretty solid. Lewis Robert. Um, he's got a ton of cards in right now. Uh, if you don't if you're not first, you're last. So you got to send them in. You know, you got to take the risk. Unfortunately, uh, it's either a twenty-five dollar card or a seventy-five to a hundred dollar card. So, it really depends. If it comes back PSA ten, you might be in the money if the market stays the same. But it could change a lot. Could go up. Could go down. But that's just the risk you're gonna have to take. Sheldon Noisy, Seth Brown. And our last pack of the night. Last pack magic. Can we find something good? Brian Reynolds, Justin Verlander, Andrew Haney. Andrew Haney for the Angels, and Michael Conforto. So no Lou Bob in this, not even a Lou Bob insert. I was really hoping we'd get one of those, and we did not. It's a little bit of a bummer, but hey, it is what it is. That will happen. Where did I have my other Lubob at? I knew I had one somewhere. Yeah, anyways. So anyways, thank you guys for buying into the break. Greg, I'm um, sorry you went hitless on the Lubob, but I am going to throw a paper Lubob in for you from Series 2, 2020 Series 2. So at least you're going to get a Lewis Robert tonight. Um, as a big thank you for buying so many spots, I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, I will be getting you a Lewis Robert paper. In fact, where's it at? I've got it right here. There you go, Greg. You're going to get a nice Lewis Robert tonight just for buying so many spots. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. That's coming your way. I really uh, am excited about this kid. He's a huge prospect. He's phenomenal. So is this kid. Um, he took batting practice the other day. So we'll see if he's going to make a return, but it doesn't sound like he's going to be back anytime soon. Uh, probably still a few weeks out from Jordan seeing some playing time this year and that's really hurting his stock this year that's for sure but uh anyways yeah no problem Casey thank you for stopping by no problem Greg yeah thank you so much once again uh thanks Brandon appreciate you buying in have a good night buddy uh must have Nolan Ryan cards I must have Nolan Ryan cards yes I got Nolan Ryan Verlander Astros card in Chrome last year wow is that was that a dual auto 
Or is that just like a, a dual card? I didn't I didn't even know if I didn't even know you could pull that card. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sure they had dual autos out of there. I pulled a lot from Chrome last year. I didn't see any dual autos. I don't think I saw any dual autos in in like all of the the entire breaks, Chrome breaks from last year that I watched. Any of the boxes that I opened, nothing. Elbronon. <laughs> I love that Fall Creek. Thank you so much. Have a good night, Greg. Thanks so much for stopping by, man. Chachi loves Braves. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I always like having you here. Wish it was a dual auto. I know, that would be sweet. I keep lusting over this thing. I'm, I got to send it in for my sister to get graded, but she pulled a, this out of one of my breaks the other night. Kyle Lewis and Justin Dunn. 18 of 25. Man, I was so uh, I was so pumped. I thought we were going to get a blue Kyle Lewis here. But we ended up getting a Justin Dunn for the Seattle Mariners. That's all right, Casey. That was still a nice hit. Uh, we got some good hits all around. I think everybody walked away with a little something. So it's not bad at all. All right, see you, Aaron Brakes. Are you leaving? Yeah, appreciate you stopping by. Um... Are you doing Sapphire tomorrow? Ooh, I like Sapphire. Are you Do you have a break going? Because I'd like to buy into a Sapphire break. That'd be cool. I've I've tried to get into a few Sapphire breaks, but they're just they're so expensive because they're mixing them with a bunch of other stuff. So it's like base Bowman, Bowman Chrome, or not Bowman Chrome. I guess it's just Bowman. Yeah, three box. Do you have a website, Aaron? I wish I could make you a mob so you could drop it, but uh, yeah, I'd love to buy into your break. If you got a, a break going, I'd love to get into some Sapphire. If you still have spots left, if not, I completely understand. I don't think I've ever seen your channel before. Um, I think I did subscribe, but I'm not sure I've actually watched anything on it. I did see that you had some content on there, but uh, I was pretty busy catching up with everything. Yeah, Phil Hughes has the Sapphire market because he's bought every Sapphire product he can possibly find. It's insane. The guy has so much Sapphire that he does in those breaks. And so Phil does a lot of that, and so does Houdini. And Houdini is the one that's been breaking Sapphire with Bowman. But those get kind of pricey. I bought into a couple of them. I actually hit a really good card. I hit a, uh, it was a first edition, Bowman first edition, Bobby Witt Jr. yellow to 75. Woo! Super sweet. Really like that. Yeah, I did watch the museum video. You're right. I forgot about that. Did watch the museum vid. Yep. I'm going to have to go back and see some more of that content. But yeah, that uh, I can't remember what you got out of that. But my museum was great. I pulled a Lewis Robert autograph to 299. So I was pretty stoked about it. A little high numbering. You know, it'd be cool if you got like a Lewis Robert to 25 or something. But I have heard that the super fractor of Kyle Lewis has been pulled. The Super Fractor of Kyle Lewis actually got pulled in like One Sense or ABCs or BITG maybe. I think BITG might have pulled it. Um, the Kyle Lewis Super Fractor out of Chrome. So I think his Super Fractor, I think Lewis Roberts Super Fractor got pulled day one of Chrome being released. So it got pulled on Friday. So that was crazy. I only have lower teams left. Uh, stop by at 9 Central, see what's left, and I'll uh, let it go cheap. Oh, cool, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Three boxes coming in next week. Are you doing? You're doing it by team, I'm assuming. So uh, we'll check out what teams you got. If you got the Rockies, I might try and pick them up. Anything Sapphire for the Rockies would be cool. But yeah, uh, I don't know the the Super Fractors. I was hoping, man, I'd love to find a Super Fractor. I hope that there's one sitting in our last quarter case. So if you guys haven't checked it out, I have one more quarter case to break of this. Sapphire and Museum by Team. Oh, very nice. That's That makes it pretty sweet. So I have one more quarter case that I'm going to be breaking. This is on eBay, and uh, I can try to drop the eBay link, but once again, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> what a bummer. I wish that this would just... I, I can't believe it signed me in on the other name, and it won't let me change it now. Like, I can't figure out a way to change it. And Streamlabs makes me... Well, whatever. I can't go into the explanation, but it's ridiculous. Yeah, BITG pulled it last night. That's right. It was last night. I heard about that today on Deafness's channel. So, Fall Clear says he's so sick of his local LCS. If I had 20 extra hours a week, I'd put all three of them out of business. 
Oh man, that would be great, wouldn't it? You get in there and, you know, there's a lot of LCSs that do great. There's a lot of them that do great. I don't want to try to bag talk or bad mouth uh, LCSs, but there's a lot of them that are kind of scummy. They're, that are a lot like the, the uh, LCSs from when we were a kid. They just banked on you being too stupid. They would look at your whole collection and be like, oh, there's a $500 card in here. Oh, you got nothing in here, man. There's really nothing worth anything in this box. I'll give you 25 for the whole thing. There's a $500 card sitting in there. You don't know. You're looking for that guy for advice, and he's kind of being a scumbag about it, trying to make money off you. So I don't like that. Those LCSs are a little sketchy to me. There's one of those down in Albuquerque. I shouted them out because I was like, hey, you know what, it's an LCS, but I'm taking my shout out back. Those guys are charging way too much for their product. Do not buy from the LCS in Cottonwood Mall. Their prices are outrageous. I mean, 50 to 100% markup on a product, it's ridiculous, come on. They're charging more than eBay. I mean, if you're an LCS, you should be getting distributor prices, so why are you going with market prices? It's because you wanna make so much extra money. It's just kind of scummy. I get it. You go, sell at the market price is fine, but even a, they're going way above market prices. It's because they're the only thing in town. And they're like, and there's another LCS there, but he's always out of product because he sells at a fair price. This guy had a lot of product because he he rips people off. I mean, I paid a 450 or something for that immaculate box, and I found it at this other LCS in Colorado Springs that is a little overpriced. There's a couple in Colorado Springs. John's Collectibles is phenomenal. Go to John's Collectibles. He's great. Um, Dale's cards, they're okay priced, but they're a little expensive on the expensive side. And even they had the Immaculate Box for like $375 or $380. So forget about it. I was going to see if muting myself would get my voice back in sync. It's pretty close, but I'm still a little bit off. They hire headhunters for retails, then resell for triple the cost. Yeah, that's BS, man. That's BS. I just don't like that. If you're going to be an LCS, don't do that. You get distributor discounts. Why do you need to beat everybody else to the store? Now, look, if you go in and buy all the product in a store, at a, like a Walmart, if you buy all the retail product with Chrome, I get that. And the reason why is because if not you, then the next guy. Somebody is going to buy it. Like you say, leave some for the kids. No kid is getting that stuff. It's not. Ju it's just not going to happen. No kid is getting that product. Some other flipper is going in there, buying it and selling it for double and triple. So, you know, to, to say I'm going to leave it for the kids, what you're really doing is, is leaving it for some other scumbag. So, you know, I'll buy the retail stuff and I'll go ahead. Oh, and I say scumbag. They're not a scumbag. You know, they're just trying to make a buck. I get it. You know, it's not a, a huge deal to me. Um, so I, I don't really have too much of an issue when those guys do that kind of stuff. But, uh, if it, if you're not going to buy it all, somebody else is, you know, no kid is getting that product. It's all us greedy punks. Yes. Greedy bastards. I have an older shop owner. I don't think he discovered the internet. So <laughs> he is fair to cheap. That's great. That's great. Yeah. The guy that I go to is, he's phenomenal. I mean, he's got, always got great prices for me and, uh, it's just great. You know, he's much cheaper than anybody else in town. He's cheaper than blowout cards. He's cheaper than most everywhere. So, uh, guys, guys really good. I'd spend a lot more money in there if I could, uh, afford to, but I've been, I've had to slow down on, on buying a little bit recently. The rest of the one ones are in your boxes. <laughs> your name is the same on eBay. Okay. Aaron breaks. Yeah. That, that break I posted on eBay because it's, you know, it's a bigger break and there's a kind of a bigger audience out there. And the, uh, I don't want the, like my, my audience, I love my audience, you know, but they're, they're kind of used to the 10 to $20 range for a break. And this one goes a little bit above beyond that. And it's kind of difficult to sell on just my website, so I had to kind of expand my reach with eBay. It's worked really well. I've gotten a, a lot more people buying into stuff, and it's helped grow my channel too. So eBay is kind of a good place to start selling breaks. And uh, I think I'm going to do that a lot more going forward because I just I like it there. Um, even with the cheaper breaks, it just seems like it's easier to, to sell stuff there. When everyone was selling for uh, Top Series 2 for a 110, he was still 170 or still 75. Too small to get. I don't know if that's true, man. Like eBay, you know, you get a lot of eyes on your product that aren't part of your channel. And that's the good thing is that 
uh, you know, you got a lot of people buying in that aren't, they just aren't your normal viewers. You know, they're not the people who come into your stream all the time and they're just looking for, you know, a break to get into and it drives actually new people to your channel, which is kind of cool. And I really like to grow. I want to get over to a thousand subs. That's my goal. I'd like to get monetized at some point, not because I'm going to make any money off the channel, I don't think, but, uh, just because I've set that as a goal, I'd like to get to a thousand and, and go from there. Oh, Jaffa, no. <laughs> In the junk folder, you better put my name on the safe list, buddy. Oh, already put it. Uh, wait, I mean to sell off eBay. I rely on it. Yeah. Selling off eBay is just, it's been, I mean, it, more than beneficial. It's necessary in this hobby, seems like. I posted a bunch of stuff today of singles and stuff, and I, that's where I've sold the majority of my uh, PSA cards, has been eBay. I mean, it's just phenomenal. People pay great prices on eBay for stuff, and there's a huge community. So you've got, you know, it opens you up to international customers. I've had people buy uh, my cards from Europe, from uh, England, from Australia. Uh, where else? I don't think I've... Oh, uh, Korea. I've shipped one to Korea. So yeah, I've had, uh, you know quite a few sales that are international too so it opens it up just to a huge audience what's my ebay page it's elkanon it's my same name um i wish like i said i can't my chat's all screwed up because i'm having stuff from uh my other account on i don't know why i'm logged in on my other account in the chat let me see if i can exit this chat i'm gonna try that and then i'm gonna sign in again Oh, I got it. I'm going to change this one. There we go. All right, now I can actually drop links. Okay, give me just one second. I'll pull it up. Selling, selling. I'll actually drop the link for that break and that you can find my page from there. I have a 100% positive feedback rating on eBay. 245 responses or feedbacks. Multiple, yeah, feedbacks, I guess. Quarter case break. I posted this quarter case break and I've had 1,400 views on it, 1,500 views. It's amazing. You sold a Jake Rogers auto to his dad on eBay. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, I don't mind, Aaron. In fact, I'll make you a, a mod so that people can get to it. And Joey, there you are. Joey's got to be a mod. Have I tried Vans? What do you mean? Like Vans the shoe store? Vans, have I tried selling cards out of the back of my van? Have I tried luring other unsuspecting card buyers into my van with cards? Mm -hmm. Not sure what you mean, Joey, but... So yeah, there's my eBay if you guys want to check it. And then Fall Creek, thank you. Fall Creek already found it. eBay.com user slash L underscore Canon. L Canon. So yeah, you can check my eBay there. Um, I only have one listing right now for the break, which is a, a quarter case break. And then I also have a listing for, I got a bunch of other listings on there, just individual cards. So, ah, Vans is the fourth card shop there. I've never tried Vans, never even heard of it. Uh, I've heard of Dale's, obviously. Um, John's, Vans, and what's the other one? I've only heard of those two, really. I think. Dale's and John's. Come here, kid. I got cards. <laughs> I don't want to be that creepy, but yeah, it's kind of how it is. No, I don't have a van like that. Um, so yeah, I've got a Sean Green autograph 
from Archives, one of 25 SP autograph there. It's kind of a nice one. That's listed right now. Museum's Collection, Keston Hero, Ramon Laureano uh, Museum Collection. Gypsy Queen, Yuli Gurliel, four of five. It's Gypsy Cream, uh, Queen, Gypsy Cream. <laughs> Gypsy Queen Chrome. Gypsy Queen, or Cream sounds like a drink, like some kind of mixed drink that uh, Little Lord Fauntleroy would drink. It's right down from John's off Academy. Really? Uh, is it the one that's like... I, I went to one that that's like a game shop. They have like comics there and they had some Pokemon cards and magic cards. A lot of magic cards. Um, went to that one. But no, I haven't seen it. It's right off Academy though, huh? That's great to know because I'll have to stop there. If there's four cards, card shops there in Springs, then I want to try and hit all four. John's has been phenomenal for me just because of the price, but... There you go, there's Aaron's uh, eBay. If you wanna check his eBay store out, I'll go ahead and click it as well. There we go, we've got Topps Museum Collection, three box break, 12 hits, New York Yankees. Seattle Mariners, ooh. You got the Mariners still in that break? Those haven't been sold yet? When did you list this? Oh, you still pretty much have every team. Ooh. Although I'm not sure what the... I'll have to go check the checklist before I start getting into this. So Aaron, have you thought about switching your break up to have a little bit different pricing for each team? I try to do that by the checklist and go and see how many autos there are. It is a little bit of work, but I think you probably have more luck selling the teams that are subpar that nobody really wants. Um, especially if they're only like five bucks for that team, but it's like 50 or 60 bucks for the Angels or you know even more than that. Uh, people are willing to pay that when it comes to, you know, getting a, a team that they want. So, museum's a new listing. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, I was talking to you. Anyways, well, that's going to do it for the break tonight. And for my stream tonight, I'm going to be heading off to sort and ship all the breaks from the weekend. Um, most of my sorting is almost done but i've got to package all these up get them into uh into their bubble mailers and get them shipped out a uh, huge thank you to everyone who bought into my breaks this weekend it was a lot of fun doing chrome and uh, we have more chrome coming so please uh, check out the ebay listing we have another quarter box or quarter case break quarter box break <laughs> nobody would buy into that quarter case break three uh hobby boxes uh of of uh, Topps Chrome. We'll be breaking that on Friday, hopefully. That'll be this Friday. Um, then I'll be going up to get more Chrome uh, so we can break all August is gonna be Chrome. Chrome and August go hand in hand. So August is Chrome. Yeah, no problem, Aaron. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, yeah, dude, I wasn't that knowledgeable either, but I just kind of looked at some other breakers that were doing it and I was like, okay, I'm having trouble selling some the uh, some of the lower end breaks. So um, maybe I'll have to, to pay some money here for the, the higher end ones. So that's why I have no problem buying into the Yankees. <laughs> the Yankees, Mariner. I might take quite a few of your teams in museum collection. It's a three box break. That's a good break. Ooh. All right, I'm going to go through your list and start uh, adding some of these to my cart. So, all right, guys, I got to head out for the night. Thank you so much. Peace out. Enjoy your evenings.
far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through.